Yesterday, we marked International Women's Day by celebrating the outstanding achievements and contributions of the women of Jamaica to our country. And there is so much to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen, that one day isn't enough to highlight all the achievements and contributions. But even as we acknowledge and applaud women for significant contributions to national development, and the pivotal roles that women have played and continue to play in this country. We know that it wasn't a happy day for some of our women in Jamaica. While we were celebrating, and even in this moment, a woman and a girl and a family and a community in our country continue to experience the horrific effects and consequences of gender-based violence. The statistics paint an ugly picture of life for too many women in our beautiful country. One in every four women in Jamaica has experienced physical violence. One in every five women reported being sexually abused before reaching 18 years old. I thank the European Union and the United Nations for partnering with us on this Spotlight Initiative, which will strengthen our efforts to end the violence. The Spotlight Initiative is not a quick fix or a magic wand, but it is a major, major part of our response to this crisis that we face in our homes and communities. It will address the violence as a major public health and development issue under the banner of family violence and with a focus on three priority areas child sexual abuse, intimate partner violence, and discrimination against vulnerable groups, including the elderly and members of society with disabilities and special needs. While the Spotlight Initiative will focus largely on women and girls, important efforts will be made to engage men and boys to address the toxic masculinity that is deeply embedded in the society. 